Morning guys, April 26th, The Supreme Climb is the title for today. I'm going to be reading out of Genesis 22, and the verse of the day is 2. I'm just going to be reading 1 through 8. So, Isaac to be offered as a sacrifice. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and saddled his ass, and took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and clave the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up and went unto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off, and Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son, and he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of, both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood. But where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So that they went both of them together. So Abraham told his son that, that, that God will provide a burnt lamb. Character determines how a man interprets God's will. Psalms eighteen twenty five through twenty six. Abraham interpreted God's com command to mean that he had to kill his son, and he could only leave this tradition behind by the pain of a tremendous ordeal. Let's go to Psalms twenty eighteen twenty five through twenty six real quick. Eighteen. It says, this 25 and 26, With the merciful thou wilt shew thyself merciful. With an upright man thou wilt shew thyself upright. With a pure thou wilt shew thyself pure. And with the froward th thou wilt shew thyself for forward. So how you are is how you're going to be. If you're merciful, you will be show thyself mercy. If you're an upright, it will shew show thyself upright and if you're pure you will show thyself pure and if you go forward you will show yourself going forward so this uh, for him to kill his son was a behind by the pain of a tremendous ordeal God could purify his faith in no other way and we knew, know Abraham, he put God first in all he did. If we obey what God says according to our sincere belief, God will break us from those traditions that misinterpret him. There are many such beliefs to get to be got rid of. That God removes a child because the mother loves him too much. A devil's lie. And a travesty of a tr the true nature of God. What does tra travesty mean? Let's find out. S-T A S-T-A A literary composition or artistic work characterized by burlesque of a serious work or subject a composition so bad that it seems to be of the kind 
any grotesque or debased likeness or imitation to make travesty on. I lost my spot. Hold on. The great point of Abraham's faith in God was that he was prepared to do anything for God. He was there. So. Oh no. Let's go back. If the devil can hinder us from taking the supreme climb and getting rid of wrong traditions about God, he will do so. But if we keep true to God, God will take us through an ordeal which will bring us out into a better knowledge of Himself. The great point of Abraham's faith in God was that he was prepared to do anything for God, which I just said. He was there to obey God no matter to what belief he went contrary. Abraham was not a devotee of his convictions, or he would have slain Isaac and said that the voice of the angel was the voice of the devil. That is the attitude of a fanatic. If you will remain true to God, God will lead you straight through every barrier into the inner chamber of the knowledge of himself. But there is always this point of giving up convictions and traditional beliefs. Don't ask God to test you. Never declare as Peter did. I will do anything. I will go to death with thee. Abraham did not make any such declaration. He remained true to God and God purified his faith. So if we all know, Abraham was told to kill his son by God, and he was going to. But you got to read <coughs> more to find out what really happened. God bless you guys. I'm going to go into prayer for today. Dear Lord, thank you for today. just want to lift up and glorify your name in all that I do, and I want to do it with everyone else. Thank you for today, seriously. Thank you for this word. Thank you for giving us this word, because we do want to follow you in all that we do, and give it all to you. Lord, please give us courage and a, an amazing foundation to stand on today as we go through this week to do our work for you. Just let us have the power to always come to you and no matter what is going on through this week and also today. There's a few people in my heart, Lord, and you know who they are. Just please touch them and be with them. And heal them, Lord. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you guys, seriously. Have an amazing week. We're just glorify and lift up the lord's name and let's encourage and uplift each other in all that we do and don't get down stay up because god's work if you, you don't see that god's working he is so anyways i gotta go seriously guys have a blessed day i'm out of here